In this video about solar radiation analysis in Ecotech, you will learn how to do analysis of solar exposure, how to subdivide your surfaces, and how to calculate incident solar radiation on your building. And you will also get insights on analysis results and how these results has impacted this actual design project from Henning Larsen Architects. In this video about solar radiation analysis in Ecotech, I want to start out in Project Vasari. So just to argumentate why to use Ecotech and not Vasari. In reality, I would always use both programs and it's really based on the same equations and calculation functionality with inside Vasari or Ecotech. It with inside Vasari, we can look at the amount of solar radiation that will hit the surfaces in our model, but we are only able to see the total amount of radiation, and we are not able to see the different types of anal of solar radiation absorbed, transmitted, and incident as we can in Ecotech. And it's also just a lot faster to work with this type of analysis with inside Vasari. One of the, the key things is that we're not able to work with the scale inside Vasari. That means that we're not able to say, okay, where is between 350 watts to 750 watts, which is something we can do in Ecotech. So starting out, I want to take a look at this project from Henning Larsen Architects. And Right now, we're not able to display the solar radiation analysis on the model. So to see the analysis result, we can go to display object attributes and to look at the, the average daily radiation. I, I do, in many cases, prefer to look at the average daily values, which is more qualitative because it's easier to do comparisons and argumentate for the specific amount of radiation for a specific day. In this project here, what we used solar radiation analysis for was really to decide the amount of glazing and to place the glazing on qualitative spaces according to this analysis here. So to do that and show how we work with this, we can turn on the facade, which consists of closed panels with solar panels embedded and windows here. So what we tried to do was really to first of all to have an equal amount of distribution on the surfaces in the model. As you can see here we have kind of divided the amount of radiation by extruding the volumes in the model. And then what we want to do here is to make the facade more closed where we have more radiation and to make it more open on the north side to have more daylight coming into the building. And there's different ways that we can look at it and we can set to say display text values and we're able to set looking at vectors to have a visual interpretation of where we'll have the most solar sort of radiation on the model. So just taking that off and we can also do it from here on the display settings here where we are also able to export export the data from the property dialog and then say analyze data to make this cool graph with inside Ecotech. And the argumentation for taking the data out as numeric data is that we are able to take or pull this data together to do comparisons of different proposals and we are also able to validate the amount of solar radiation that will have hit the different components in the model. The really cool thing about doing this in Ecotech is that if we go here to scale, we can now begin to work with the scale to say, okay, I want to see where there is between 350 to 750 watts per square meters here. So that makes it a bit more easy to use the analysis uh, in Ecotech and to visualize it in multiple ways. Also in Ecotech, I'm just hitting out a very simple model that I did. What we can do here is that we can actually go to the analysis tab or to calculate to look at 
the solar exposure. This is really cool that from the beginning, just looking at the site, we can get an overall sense of the different months and times a year where we'll have more and lesser solar radiation. <coughs> and we're also able to hit a specific surface that we can measure this on, to say update surface. And now we can really look at the amount of solar radiation that will hit this specific surface in the model. Something that we can do to dimensioning solar panels and stuff like that. So let's take a look at how we actually apply the analysis with inside Ecotech. So here I just have a simple context and the volume or the envelopment of the new building. So what I did here was that I went in and subdivided these surfaces by going to modify, surface subdivision, rectangular tiles, and then specified the size of the tiles and the way that I wanted it to be aligned on the model. And then I placed these um, subdivisions in the zone here, sub, and made that a thermal zone. So the next thing I'll do is I'll go to calculate and say solar axis analysis. And there is multiple ways that we can look at the amount of radiation inside each tick. We can look at the incident solar radiation or the absorbed transmitted solar radiation, especially for windows and, and stuff like that. And we're also able to look at the, the exterior surfaces, looking at the site, looking at shading, overshadowing and sunlight hours which can be quite a good way to, to look at the amount of radiation coming from the sun. So in this case here, let's just hit the incident solar radiation for a specified period and select the period. I want to take a look at the whole year in the time span where we'll assume that people will use the building and say just average daily values because I like this way of looking at it and say only use objects and thermal zones because I placed the objects that I want to simulate on in, in this zone here and then I want to clear all values in next say perform detailed shading calculation and then I can store the results for later to speed up the analysis processes if I want to do this uh, later on and just say OK And now you could take this calculating the amount of solar radiation that will hit this form here. One important issue and one important factor to understand is how this is calculated. A lot of different energy analysis programs are doing these types of analysis. One great thing here, which also applies for Asari, is that this is really connected to the physical context of the building. And the way that it does that is by a shading mas ma mask, which is really defined by a dome uh, on the sun path. And to show how this sun path is working, I can mark out an element here, and I'm going to calculate and say sun path diagram. And here I can now say update shading. just takes a bit of a while here. So now I'm actually able to see the shading mask here. The shading mask is here by these round lines here. And the way that this is working, I can show you by going to show and visualize page. And now we're actually are able to see this dome surrounding the buildings here. So the shading mask is really all the points that will define trace lines to the geometry and trace the shading conditions for the new envelopment here. So that's really the way to go about it and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.